Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to retrieve data from our database using the SQL select command. We're going to go over the syntax of the select command, and then we're going to talk about um, two different clauses that you can add, which are basically sort of um, additions you can add to uh, the select command that define, uh, the where clause defines, um, it will allow you to restrict how, what, p what rows from a, a table you want to retrieve, and the order by clause is going to allow us to specify when we retrieve rows from a table using the select command, uh, what order, how we want them ordered, how we want the results ordered. Uh, so the select command, or uh, query as it's often called, uh, is used to retrieve rows from a database that match uh, specified, que specified criteria that we, that we choose. Um, now, it's uh, sometimes it's called a select command, sometimes it's called a select statement, sometimes it's called a, a select query or just a query. Um, I'll sort of use those terms intermittently, mostly be using the term query. So if I say uh, we're executing a query on the database, uh, that's going to be saying that we're, ex we're executing a select command on the database, which is going to retrieve data from the database. Um, and basically what the select command, the s basic syntax for the select command is you have the select keyword, and then you specify um, the names of the columns that you want to retrieve data for, specified or separated by commas. So we're saying, uh, give me the data associated, the values for column one and column two, and then the from keyword, from table name, and you specify the table name. So this would say, spec give me the all the values for uh, the column, <laughs> for column one, all the values for column two, from the table named by table name. And what happens is, is the select query um, actually returns its results in a tabular format um, ordered by how they're listed in the query, uh, how the columns are listed in the query. So for example, if we ran this query, we would get a result, it's called a result set. It's basically a table of data and it would have It would have two columns in it because we specified two columns that we want to retrieve data for. And then would have the values of each row in this um, in the table table name. So if we have a table called in this case table name, this query would retrieve the values for the uh, column one name column and the column two name column for every row in table name. Uh, table and it would list them in a tabular format. The order in which these columns are going to appear is the order when we specify them here. If we'd switch it around, then these would be reversed in the uh, result set. And the, again, the term result set is used to refer to the, um, the basically the table of data that is returned when you execute a select query. Um, if you want to retrieve all of the columns from a table, which is something you often want to do, you can use the wildcard in place of the list of column names. Um, so we could type a query, and this is something that we saw, we talked about in the homework um, example for the last lesson, and, and we used um, when inserting items into the database to verify that they were inserted, uh, which we didn't go over, but we said select star from items, and basically what that's saying is give me um, all of the columns, uh, the data, the values for all the columns for all the rows in the items table. and. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to return a table like this, um, a result set that's going to have values for all the different rows in the table, for all of the columns for all the different rows in the table. Uh, the thing to note is that the order of these columns in the result set are going to be ordered by how the table is defined. So uh, for example, when we did an insert statement where we just specified values and didn't specify column names, we had to specify those values in the order in which the columns were defined uh, for that particular table. That's how this select star statement is going to work as well. It's going to return the data um, in, and have the columns ordered by how they were defined in the table definition. So if we actually go and um, let's log into our uh, MySQL server as a PHP user. So I'm going to run the MySQL monitor program. I'm going to go ahead and have us so that we're already using the advanced PHP database. And then what I'm going to do is if I run describe 
items, again, it's going to show us the format of this items table. So it has the columns ordered in this order here, item ID, name, price, description, image file, extension. Uh, I'm going to run a select query that's going to uh, retrieve all of the information um, from the table. But I'm going to do it by specifying each of the column names individually. And as happened in the last lesson, because the descriptions are longer, it's actually going to run off the page. Uh, but I'm going to do it to show you an example of how, how this works to specify all the columns. So we're saying select all of these different columns from the table items. This looks like I had an error in my statement. And you can see here it kind of runs off the page, but it returns all of the different columns that we're looking for. Uh, you can see one thing to note is it says it also gives you um, it says six rows in set, which means that there were six rows that were returned by this query. Uh, the same way we, we could run the same exact query in a similar format by using a, a, the star. Say select star from items, and we're going to get the exact same results. Now, as you actually saw me do in the last um, lesson, which I didn't really explain, was you can um, select just certain columns from the particular table. Let's say we just want the item ID, name, and price of each item in the database. Well, we could say, give me the item ID, the name, and the price for all the rows in the items table. And you can see it returns six rows, and it contains the item ID, the name, and the price. And so this is sort of your result set. And notice that they're ordered in the, the result set columns are ordered in the way that you specified them. We could alternatively have specified them in a different order. For example, price, name, and now they're switched. And this becomes a little important when we get into interfacing with this database using PHP uh, because we're going to be accessing these results, these result sets. And so the order that these um, columns are ordered in uh, when the results are returned is actually going to matter. So that's sort of why I'm talking about it now.